guys, so I am in the process of um, getting ready to substitute teach and substitute paraprofessional. So one of the things I am doing is putting together um, a substitute teaching bag slash pack, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I just figured I would kind of share, you know, sort of um, this video of the haul of stuff that I'm getting um, for future reference, you know, for others that might be doing this. But also um, for my own, you know, sort of my own um, thing to use as sort of a look back that I can review at the end of the year, you know, and say, okay, well, what worked in that? What didn't work, you know, and just kind of um, determine things. So I did raid um, slightly some of my stash. I've had some teaching stuff stored. Um, I actually had, these are some small notepads that I um, went ahead and I stamped a bookworm on each page. So I have four of those. So I'm just going to put those in. I have a teaching lesson plan book. I haven't done anything with this yet. I think I picked this up um, a couple years ago from the Target dollar section. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything with it. Um, so I just brought that down and shoved it in my stuff. Um, I have three of these legal size notepads and what I did is instead of using the red on top, I just kind of washi taped them just to make them seem fun. What are you going for? Oh, the one thing that is not, uh, substitute teaching stuff we had to get underwear and more socks for Steven and diapers for Lucas so those were not um, things and I'm pretty sure there's some other non teaching stuff in the Target bags um, and then the other thing that I have here is um, the folder for the staffing um, company that I am working through um, that you know supplies me with the student teaching jobs so I went to a couple different stores I went to Big Lots today because one thing I really really wanted to get was a new planner um, this is an August 2014 to July 2015 student planner I'm not thrilled with the fact that it's such a short planner but um, for now, it's good for the money. The thing that I really liked about this is it's got the little tabs of the month. So you can flip, you know, to the month. And then it's also got the, um, the particular day because what I'm planning to do is I'm going to write everything that I have on my calendar to do, you know, for work and church stuff. And then I may only write, you know, like work on this monthly part. But then let's say, you know, August 20th, I'm going to be, you know, working. I would then flip to this month part and I can put, you know, the school, the teacher, you know, and other information that I would need for me to use. Um, I also wanted to make a binder, a student teaching binder. So... The dollar store only had like the flimsy, um, the plastic um, thing, and I wanted the one that has the outside pocket and is um, the plastic binder and more of a, like a 1.5 centimeter, you know, and has pockets here and whatnot. I wanted one of these. So they didn't have that at the dollar store, so I had to go to Big Lots. Um, so that's what... I think everything that I got at Big Lots and then Target I got I picked up they had um their school stuff is going on clearance so I didn't think of this until I was in Target picked up a ruler never know if I'll need it there's fingernail clippers and nail clippers these are actually um Steven wanted those because we have a bunch of them but they go missing I got a pink pencil case and a blue pencil case. These are going to be for um, a lot of the stuff um, for in my bag um, to put a lot of the stuff, um, like the pens, the pencils, and all of that in. I also picked up 
two packs of, um, these were 99 cents, 175 sheet filler paper, um, you know, just in case I give the kids a writing prompt, you know, maybe I don't have paper or something, you know, or I just, for whatever reason, need, you know, some filler paper. Never know, for a buck, you can't really go wrong. Um, and then I also, at Target, for the purposes of student teaching, or not student teaching, I keep saying student teaching, substitute teaching, I picked up a pack of 400 sheets of printer paper because I'm going to be printing out um, the stuff for my student teaching binder, and I have a couple other files and stuff that I want to print out, um, and I wanted to save my mom a little bit. Um, she has the ink right now to print. Um, most everything I'm printing is going to be in black and white. But, um, you know, I figured kind of, you know, to help out with paper supply, you know, because I'm using paper, I figured I'd just pick that up for the purposes of printing. And then now Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, I got a fun um, clipboard, just paisley printed, um, you know, clipboard. Not sure if I really need a clipboard or not, but I figured what the hell, it was a dollar. Um, I got a set of index dividers. Um, I figured those are perfect for using things. I got um, three two pocket file folders. Um, I want to have one to keep like my staffing stuff in and then there's some other sheets and things that I'm going to need some folders for or that I wanted some folders for. And then the bulk of this bag right here is the stuff from Dollar Tree. I got packs of tissues to put in there. Um, really important, especially with cold and flu season coming up um, to have those. I got a pack of fun colored, um, they're, they write in black um, pens. I got two packs of, I kind of liked these because they were sort of, you know, fun metallic-y um, colors. So I got two packs of the pencils. Um, and I figured these are great if I have to let a student borrow them. I'm not really worried because I got them at the dollar store if I need to use a pencil. I got some pencils, um, and that's why I got two packs of those, just because. Um, I got some rubber bands, which I'm probably going to put these into um, a Ziploc baggie so they don't get all over the place. Um, never know if I'm going to need those, just to have them. I got a pair of scissors so that I have them. Um, some permanent markers. I'm not sure how these are going to work because I got them at the dollar store, but you know what, I figure, hey, you know, if I need to get Sharpies down the line, I can go ahead and buy those once, you know, I am working. I got a set of colored highlighters um, to use for stuff. I couldn't get, I looked for, um, because I got the pencils, and I'm not sure if there will be sharpeners, I wanted to get one sharpener. Apparently, the dollar store only had these they're cool. They're like Lego style sharpeners. Um, apparently they only had a four pack, so I have four sharpeners. But <clears throat> never hurts, you know, multiple kids in the classroom, they break a pencil at the same time. You know, maybe there's not a sharpener in the room or for whatever reason, I need a sharpener. Um, I got a three pack, just a basic, you know, um, pack. Again, I'm not sure how these are going to work. Dry erase markers. Um, <clears throat> most of this stuff um, I'm expecting the teachers to have in the classroom, but you never know if, you know, I'm going to need it or I'm going to be in a classroom that maybe doesn't have it. Or there are some classrooms that, you know, expect the teachers to provide everything and they just carry it in a bag with them. So maybe they don't particularly leave it in their classroom or whatever. You know, it's just basic stuff that, you know, hey, I have if I need you know, if I don't end up needing it, oh well. I got some erasers just, you know, to put on the pencils. And, you know, there comes a time when someone says, you know, hey, do you need an eraser? And again, I'm not worried, you know, if this stuff gets, you know, lost or, you know, given out to a student because, again, I got it at the dollar store. You know, I can easily go back and get another pack of it. Um, so I got those. I got something I'm probably going to end up splitting these um, up between uh, the house 
in my bag. I got, a, you know, 100 hair elastics. Right now it's summer, it's hot, but you know, let's say I'm working in a pre-K, you know, field and I have my hair down one day and then we start doing things and I find my hair is getting in my face. I have some hair ties in my bag. I can just go ahead and quickly throw my hair up. Um, so I, I figured that would be a good thing to keep in there. I also got some generic brand um, five messenger pad of post-it notes. Good for, you know, like leaving on teacher's desks and whatnot. Got some paper clips in case I need them. I got a roll of masking tape in case I have to tape things up or, you know, for whatever reason. Um, yeah. I just got a small little cheapy dollar um, calculator just, you know, in case I need it for whatever reason. And then the other thing that I got um, mainly for me is just a thing of um, starlight peppermints and a thing of um, hard candies. I don't plan on giving these to the kids because a lot of schools now, unfortunately, are in that no food policy. Um, candy, especially because of the rise in child obesity, as well as the amount of food allergies that are popping up this year. I know, or, you know, this year and in the past years, actually, I know when Nick first started school, you know, it was, he was in a class, you know, I think he was even in a class where in his preschool class, when we went, he, they got snack time, but they weren't allowed to do, um, they weren't allowed peanut products. And there was, um, there's like, I was in uh, interviewing at one preschool recently and I happened to glance over at the wall and there are, there's just so many, there's so many dietary restrictions. Um, I mean, you have those that are religious, you know, religious, there are those kids with gluten intolerances, wheat intolerances, you know, so they need gluten free. There are the kids that can't have dairy. There are the kids that can't have nuts, you know, so you can't bring things like peanut butter and jelly. Um, you can't bring any kind of candy because especially in the younger ages, you know, they may know, oh, I'm allergic to peanuts, but they may not know, you know, or, you know, I'm allergic to nuts. They may not see something listed as, you know, I like my, my my cousin, for example, there was one time she's severely allergic to nuts. She was eating cookies and it listed um, filberts. She didn't know filberts were a type of tree nuts and ended up eating the um, cookie and had to be rushed to the hospital for an allergic reaction. So um, I am in the future probably going to get some little type of reward things. Um, I remember one substitute teacher when I was in, I think it was elementary school. It was elementary or middle or high school. It was one of the schools. And he had this huge messenger bag and the thing was filled with candy. I mean, he must have had at least 10 pounds of candy in that bag. Um, that nowadays is not a good thing to do. Um, and I do plan, you know, maybe to get something, um, you know, as time goes on, you know, like stickers or, you know, an assortment of pencils or something from the, um, like from Oriental Trading, you know, just buy a bulk thing so that I can give the kids, you know, a little goodie and kind of um, share with them, you know, and make it um, a little bit special. Um, and there are some other things that I want to get. The one thing I'm looking into getting right now is a rolling laptop bag to store all of this in because I don't want to use just a regular tote bag but um I don't know I have to I have to look in to see that because I talked to a family friend I posted a plea on Facebook asking for one and someone said they might have one to give me that they're not using so I may be getting one from that person I don't yet know I have to see um, so I will keep you guys updated on how all of this goes and how I am doing with things. And I hope you guys enjoyed this and, um, let me know, 
you know, either through likes or dislikes um, or the comments below if you liked this kind of haul. Do you want more of like my teaching hauls? Um, I do plan to share some of the um, substitute teaching binder and how as far as how I set mine up. However, I'm not going to share everything because there are some things that I found on Pinterest that um, I'm going to vaguely mention just to give you an idea of what it is, but I'm not going to necessarily show you or mention specific things because the person that has posted it has said, you know, this is a freebie, you know, please protect copyright and everything. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.